Thanks, LaTangela. For this episode of Louisiana Film History Flashback, we present a film that follows the life of a very unusual man who rose from poverty to become the state's governor, Jimmy Davis. Davis grew up in a two-room shack with 13 others and as a child spent long hours picking cotton. The New York Times quoted him as saying they did not have an outhouse, they had an outwoods, and he didn't have a bed to sleep in until he was nine. Hmm. I guess that's why he built a new governor's mansion with 12 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms. Davis became a professor at Dodd Women's College teaching history and political science. At the same time, he developed a singing career and taught yodeling. As governor, he created many areas that we now take for granted, such as instituting Louisiana driver's licenses, created the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, and the civil service system. He kept taxes down, took steps to prevent forests from being too depleted, built hospitals, repaired and created roads, and raised teachers' salaries. And he did this while balancing an active film and singing career, acting in seven films from 1942 to 1950. Governor Edwards was quoted as saying he served two terms as governor of Louisiana and was never indicted. That's a genuine achievement. For him, yeah. <laughs> Over the next 60 years, he was credited with writing hundreds of songs and recording several dozen albums. His signature song, You Are My Sunshine, was recorded by more than 350 artists, sold millions of records, and was translated into 30 languages. So let's flash back to 1947 to take a look at the very complex life of Governor Jimmy Davis and the film Louisiana. In the 1940s, there was little precedent for entertainers becoming successful politicians. This changed when country western singer and actor Jimmy Davis twice became the governor of the state of Louisiana. The 1947 film Louisiana follows the life of Davis from his early years, the trials and errors of climbing through the ranks of both a music career and political career at the same time and ending with his election to governor in 1944. The movie was based on an original story by Steve Healy. James Houston Davis was born in Beach Springs, Louisiana in Jackson Parish in 1899, the son of a poor sharecropper and one of 11 children. He graduated from Louisiana College and received his master's degree from LSU. He became a professor at Dodd College performing as a country western singer on the side. In the mid-30s, he signed a record deal with Decca Records and became a popular radio entertainer in Shreveport. In the early 1940s, Davis appeared in several Western movies, including Riding Through Nevada and Strictly in the Groove in 1942 and Frontier Fury in 1943, in which he performed with his band The Singing Buckaroos. After serving as Shreveport's police commissioner, as well as Louisiana's controller, Davis was elected governor in 1944 and held the office until 1948. He was known for his unconventional folksy campaigning techniques, which included singing at rallies. He returned to entertaining in the late 1940s, appearing in the 1949 monogram film Mississippi Rhythm, and became a leading gospel singer in the 1950s. In 1960, he was re-elected to a second four-year term as governor. In the 1947 film Louisiana, Governor Davis played himself, allowing monogram publicity to boast that Davis was the only seated governor ever to star in a motion picture. The supporting cast included Margaret Lindsay, John Galladay, Freddie Stewart, Molly Miller, Ralph Frito, Russell Hicks, and Dottie Brown, a Shreveport native making her debut. The Sunshine Serenaders were also featured. Louisiana was directed by Phil Carlson. Production on Louisiana began in mid-February 1947. All exterior shots were filmed in Louisiana, including Louisiana College in Pineville, Doddville College for Women, LSU, the State Capitol, and the French Quarter. Local dignitaries appeared in many of the scenes. Davis wrote all or part of each of the eight songs included in the film, such as You Are My Sunshine, there's a new moon over my shoulder. It makes no difference now. Nobody's darling but mine, and you would be satisfied that way. Louisiana had its world premiere in Shreveport on October the 7th, 1947 at the Strand Majestic Theater. 
Subsequent presentations were given October 8th at the Sanger in New Orleans, the Hart Theater in Baton Rouge, the Paramount Theater in Alexandria, and the Paramount Theater in Monroe. The general release date was November the 1st, 1947. This has been a presentation of Hollywood on the Bayou, preserving Louisiana's rich film history with books, prints, presentations, and exhibits. If you have questions, comments, or to learn more, you can visit our Facebook page or sign up for our Louisiana and Film newsletter, which is on our website, HollywoodOnTheBayou.com. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Louisiana Film History Flashback. Sue and I thank you, and we'll see you next time.